Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are here on the final assignment which we are going to be playing the first of the final two missions. Massilia, a peaceful province and in this mission we're going to be doing a gradient block design. A gradient block design where we're going to see every level of housing possible. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this mission started. Against my better judgment, I shall tell you a secret. All the world hails me as emperor and god, but I still wear the flesh of a man. I'm getting on in years and the supreme power weighs heavier each day. I wish to be one of the few emperors in Rome's long history to enter a peaceful and voluntary retirement. The lack of a natural-born heir is the only barrier to my plan. Every patrician in Rome would quickly offer himself as my successor, but the more avidly they want it, the less suited they are for such power. You alone have shown the ability and the devotion to govern in my place. I have one last assignment for you. The ultimate test of your governing skill. You will build a glorious city in Massilia, a province with little farmland, meager resources and some armed resistance. Local Gauls are again fighting Roman rule. Some barbarians never learn. You must achieve very high ratings to show yourself worthy of the ultimate promotion. Build an extremely prosperous city that rivals Rome in culture and earn high favor with me. Use all your talent to make Marsilia your crowning achievement, and I will overlook the differences that you and I have had in the past. I am weary. Do not disappoint me now with the final prize in your sight. All right, so here we go. Massilia, final glory. Population of 8,000, prosperity of 85, which is very high. Favor, 85. Culture, 80. Peace of 70, with a little bit of military activity. But let's go ahead and go to the city. All right, here we go. Let's slow the game down, pause the game, and see what we're up against. Governor Julio asks, by gradient, do you mean equal number of houses of each type? Not necessarily, because the gradient can scale on size as well as type. So, we're gonna be having every single type of housing available. So we're actually gonna have some blocks set at housing levels we don't normally have them at, because sometimes it just needs a barber to evolve them, so why not just put the barber? So we're gonna have like a nice little slums tent area and even level one tents level two tents then one up and one up and one up and one up all the way up to luxury palaces which should go in this big open area over here but as usual we are playing on very hard so we gotta get through oh the road doesn't actually go up to the edge there we have to get through the immigration glitch so i'm gonna start by putting down seven two by twos let's go one two four, five, six, seven. We're gonna put down, actually, I'm gonna move that to be a bit more efficient. Just have it there. We're gonna have the prefecture and the engineer's post. We're gonna prep, let me check exports here. They buy pottery, they buy furniture and fish, they buy oil, and they buy fruit and meat. Uh, can we produce these things? Uh, raw materials, just timber yard, okay. Farms, wheat, fruit, vines, no oil either. So it is pretty much gonna be timber all the way. So I'm just gonna clear off that so that I can start raw material timber yard. And we're just gonna put down some of these. I do want to start with a temple to Mars immediately. And we can just straight away throw a festival to Mars, right? And we also need to well this up.
Okay, that should cover everything. It's got people moving in. Okay, yes, that's everything. Uh, and then we need to... Ooh, let's set priorities before things burn down. Prefectures... Actually, water services will be one. Prefectures two. Engineering three. And we'll get a little bit of a furniture industry going so we won't just run out of money <laughs> because that's going to be very important. But let's get through the immigration glitch first. We've got to make sure these houses evolve. So I'm just going to drop a few plazas here and there, which should help these come along. Come on, evolve. Maybe I should just be putting down the temples instead, right? Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. And Venus. Just to make sure we don't get any curses, and that actually helps evolve these houses. So then, we need to wait till our population maxes out. How is our employment? We actually have some unemployment, so I'm gonna put down a warehouse. Which can go right there. And this is gonna hold... Just furniture. And more people should move in, so we should be able to get down furniture workshops. Are they delivering one unit? Second unit should come along here. Wait till our population reaches the max from seven two by twos. It is seven two by twos, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Which should be 196, if I'm not mistaken. And we should be able to support quite a few. There's that festival. Okay, great. Can I import clay to make pottery? Uh, well, I assume so, otherwise we don't have pottery on this map. Uh, oh, or we could imp I suppose we could import pottery, but let's focus on furniture first. Who sells clay? Oh, the place that sells clay can buy pottery, I see. Oh, Lugdunum sells a bit of clay as well. Okay, we'll, we'll focus on... These two are gonna be land trade routes anyway. Uh, they sell marble, they sell weapons, I see. Okay. So this should be coming along quite nicely. Almost at max pop. That should be the last immigrant coming in here. 195? Really? Shouldn't it be 196? Okay, here comes the last guy. Okay, okay. 196. Okay. So then we let one month pass. It's April now. It's May. So I'm going to let one more month pass because there's a maximum of immigrants per year. While we wait for May to end, we're going to need to build a well maze. So I'm going to block this off. There we go. And I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to do that. So this should... Yeah, th there should be an opening through that. We've blocked that off. And I'm going to try sync the two streams so that we get people moving in as quickly as possible at one time. A blessing from Neptune... I don't want a blessing from... I want a blessing from Mars. They're all exalted. Blessing from Mars would be nice. Furniture's starting to come down here. How much is one unit of furniture? Let's show prices. Sellers receive 150. Two units are coming in right now. It's 300 to open the trade route, so it will pay for itself. Might as well open. Export goods over zero units. There we go. So we sell two units of furniture and it already makes our money back. Look at that. Smart, smart, math, math. Neptune is not upset. Yeah, for once, Neptune's not upset. Okay, it's June now. Let's slow it down. These guys are gonna start buying the bit of furniture. Let me just make sure it is 600, right? Yeah, okay, 600. And we can't support any more. We are short by two employees, actually. Um, that's fine. So now, we start our Gradient City. And you know what I would really like is to have have it all on like a single straight road and it gets bigger on that side. So it looks sort of like a volume symbol because it's like, you know, small tents and then large palace blocks, right? So this river curves down. So this is going to be the narrowest point, which I guess I will just 
start the road. I don't want to build too close to the edge. We might get into trouble if we do that. So I guess I'll start right about here. I'm going to build a road right here. And we need to get some houses going. Let's see. How many houses to start? I mean, seven two by twos. That's that. This first set of houses we don't have to evolve. Mars, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I'll just do a one, two, three, four, five, six. A six by six should be fine, right? And then always build the ones on the furthest side first because it'll just help try sync things up. That's gonna be our block. That should be enough houses to evolve. But I'm always scared of messing it up. So I'm gonna do that as well. You know, we could just have lots of people. It doesn't really matter. I could just do that, right? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna do that. And to make sure things don't burn down, Prefecture, Engineer's Post, and let's not forget... Let's, uh, let's stick a doctor somewhere. Just to make sure we don't get them. We don't get diseases. Okay. So now, let's try and sync these two streams. They're gonna come down this way, and then I wanna block them. And then they're gonna go over there. And then when they hit here, I open this up so the two streams break through at the same time. Right? So here comes the immigrants. <sighs> How about the wealthy by the seaside and the poor inland? Uh, well, since it's such an artificial concept, I'm going with a very artificial design. <laughs> this is probably way too many tents. I'll destroy some later on. So here they come. They're going to have to come down this way. And just as they start to come down here, I'm going to block this off. That should block it off. Right. And just as they get close, block that off. Nope. I forgot. We got to break. That's going to despawn them. I forgot. I forgot to open this up first. Turn around. Mess it up a little bit. Mess it up a little bit. So once they hit here, I break this open and all these immigrants who are here can then pass through. So just as they reach about the opening on that side, I break that open. And then we get two streams of immigrants. Now, by the way, in case you don't know, once we cross 200 people, the immigrants stop. So we need like 150 people because because of the glitch. Look at that, the two streams merge exactly. Look at that, look at that. Pro players here on the GameZack channel. As soon as we cross 200 people, the immigrants stop because there's a glitch with happiness at a uh, very hard difficulty. There we go, we've crossed 200. Here comes the message of uh, people disgruntled. Come on. No, a blessing from Mercury. Okay. There's a people disgruntled. It came at the same time. People disgruntled. This is the glitch. And now we just need to get to population 300. And once we hit population 300, <coughs> the people won't be... Uh, uh, won't be upset anymore. Yep, there they are. They start moving out as well. They start moving out as well. Sajuk says people might or should know this by now. Yeah, but I, I know from past experience, a lot of people will tune in on YouTube just looking the for the final mission. So if you're one of those people on YouTube just looking for the final missions, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the first of the final missions. So it's great to explain everything on these final missions. There we go, we're just about to cross 300. You can see people moving out, so it's a struggle. People need to move in faster than they're moving out. There we go, 300. 
Ooh, a blessing from Venus sends a feeling of goodwill, which I think does absolutely nothing at this glitch. But just to make things go a little fast, I'll drop taxes. But we should be secure. So I can now break the well maze. Now we just wait to make sure people, like, we stay above 300 until people are no longer upset. So we need this constant stream of immigrants coming in because people start moving out. You see this? You see that? Oh, I should max my furniture exports now? That is a very good idea. <laughs> uh, how much can they buy? Uh, they can buy 25 units a year, so I think I go one, two, four. How many? We probably need five. So they produce five each, right? And then I can start destroying these houses. Oh, wait, no, no, undo, undo. I should not destroy those houses. People are pleased with me. Move back in. Come on, move back in. Okay. Oh. Oh. I forgot. I cannot destroy those houses yet. I need to keep this above... Uh, okay, workshop furniture. So if I do that, five... Three timber, six furniture. Is that enough to produce? Is it? Three timber, six furniture. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. If I do three timber, six furniture workshops, if we produce enough to max exports for the next year. That'll be interesting to see. Money is stabilizing. Here comes the wave of new immigrants. Plenty of unemployment. So now we can just continue to max our exports. So we could import clay. I'll just open this trade route. So I can have a better understanding. We can import clay and export pottery, and that's pretty much... They buy oil, but no one sells olives. Oh, no! Mediolanum sells olives. So we can now import olives and clay. 25, 25... Let's open this trade route. It's a sea route. Okay. So they buy 25 as well. So we can import a total of 25 olives. We can import 35 clay. Okay. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to set up a, a trading center down this side. which I guess can go here for now. This is very flat coast, so I kind of want to use all of this. So I'm going to destroy all these trees. Actually, let's, let's not destroy all the trees. I like, I like keeping some of the trees. Let's keep that row of trees. Yeah, we're going to just clear that off. And we can have, we'll use this natural opening in the road. We will have this. Where we can then have... This goes along like that. Is this a good idea? This is very close to the edge of the map. I probably don't want to build here, right? So instead, I'll bust that open so that I can have a road come out like this. And I'll break that, not have that there. And I will just bust that open so I won't have that there. I want to make this look a little bit good as well. Prefecture. Engineer's posts. 
we're gonna need clay, pottery, olives and oil. So we are... We can accept oil and olives into the same place because they will even out. But we can only accept... We have to accept clay and pottery into different areas. I'm gonna max out exports as soon as possible because I don't want to worry about money. Okay. So we can actually encircle this whole area, which may or may not work. Prefecture, engineer's post, dock. Okay. I don't know if this block is too big. It may be, but I'll find out soon. Then I'll try to shrink it. And then I just need workshops. So I will clear off there. And I'm gonna need... Probably three pottery workshops. If, they, if it does 25. And then three oil workshops. Just trying to be a bit space efficient here. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? Are uh, you guys dropping some bits? Dargain, Malco TV, thank you so much. So, this is all gonna be functioning. Now, I just need to see. That's employees needed, yeah. How many employees needed? 28? That's fine. It's probably more than that. I put down a lot of stuff, but more people are moving in. And let's just put couple gardens. Let's make sure that remains open. Now, does the prefect and engineer go all the way around? Yes, yes. If they make it past this corner, they should make it all the way around. And then things should be A-OK. -okay. okay. So now we can set this to importing olives and importing clay. Right, right. All oh, right, it's it's not three, it's six, right? We need six workshops. Okay, I'll start with three first, and as we get more employees, I'll make it six. Okay, we can actually fit more workshops around here. One, two, three. And pottery, yeah, one, two, three. We'll just, we'll just keep adding the workshops around. For efficiency, I should move That's okay, I'll, le I'll leave it for now, I'll leave it for now. Show up by 20 employees, that's great. 500 citizens for the first time. The gods are still doing okay, we've got lots of blessings. Okay, these tents can very easily burn down, so we've got to be careful about that. You know, that does look a little bit risky. I'm gonna put down a second prefecture. Okay, first boat is coming in. We'll probably go into debt for a little while. Oh. Huh? If it was up to me, oh. we wouldn't sail this way. Wait, no. The, the boat just buys. The sellers are all like, oh no. I hate that warehouses do this. I I hate this so much. Fine. Go get the clay. Go get the olives. I hate that. Who who thought that was a good idea at Impressions Games? Hey, let's hide all the resources until you open the trade route. And then when you open the trade route, everything's just set to accepting in all of your warehouses. Uh, okay, fine. It's, it's fine. We'll, we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. We're still selling furniture. I'll check if we max out sales of furniture this year. Then I'll know if we got the correct number of workshops. 
please go to the other trading area to sell stuff, please. Okay. Why aren't they going to sell more? Oh, right, right. You can only import the amount of raw material that will match the number of workshops you have. That's another annoying glitch. So we need to do that. Save the coast for fish. Maybe later. There we go. Six of each workshop. Uh, if I... You know, I'm not going to move the prefecture quite yet. The two prefectures should keep this area safe as well. Short by 26 employees. Okay. So then over here, I'm going to clear this forest because we need to prepare for the next level of housing. Which I will just... Two. There. And I'll make this slightly bigger than the other one. So this was six by six on the inside, right? So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll go nine on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like a nine by nine, but don't worry. This is not gonna be a nine by nine. <laughs> You know, let's just quickly go into debt here. How much money do we make? Hmm. Mm. You got through those funds quickly. <laughs> Try to make these new funds last longer. A thousand. Okay. Let's just bring in some people. Yeah. Prefecture. I think I'll keep with the double prefectures. Should be okay if I do that for now. Okay, traders finally coming down here. We've grabbed some of the resources. We're gonna have to bring more over. Okay, unfortunately the warehouses can't Which do they, do they prioritize? Oh, we're getting the pause. We're getting the pause. You guys can use Zach Pa in chat now. <laughs> uh, what are the win conditions for this map? Uh, a lot of stuff. 8,000 population, 80, 85, 70, 85. Okay, so we're gonna start pushing out our resources here. Here comes that next block. Now this next block is going to receive wells because this is the next level of housing oh, that's that's wrong it should be there right it's going to be the next level of housing which i will need to put down some desirability stuff when i can afford it just put a large statue right in the middle that should sell everything uh, does that cover yeah that does cover everything okay so we're going to start producing pottery we're going to start producing oil. It looks like everything's close enough to keep things at good efficiency. It is September now. How has our furniture sales been? 18 of 25. Are we producing enough furniture here? Stored timber zero. Is it because it's too far? Let me just see how much we managed to sell. There we go, it's got timber. We might be a little bit short, but there we go. Oil's coming in, pottery's coming in, boats coming by. How much is oil worth? Oil sellers receive 140. Okay, that's a cool 280. 280? Yes. Check the gods. Oh, yes. That's a good point. They're all still happy. They're all still happy. Okay, we can now sell pottery as well. Why didn't he... Did I not... Oh. I forgot to set it to export. 
Look, it's very easy to forget things here. There we go. Clay's down. Are we bringing over the rest of the clay? Not yet. If these workshops ever empty out, we'll be able to go grab that clay. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit annoying. Lots of clays come in. So see, we... We can, uh... Only have one warehouse for this because see the oil is oh no I put a doctor down come on all right you can have doctors there we go that's gonna hit our employment not not at all not at all it's fine it's fine turn off clay imports for a while. That's probably a good idea, actually. I just temporarily turn that off. When we run out of clay, or run low on clay, we'll go grab more. Let's turn off the imports of the raw materials, just temporarily. Okay, did we sell some pottery? We did, we did. So here comes a boat. Okay, now we've got seven oil. Eight oil. We're gonna make so much money from this. Watch this. There they go. One, 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 one. There we go. Hmm. Okay, how's health going? Um, city health is average. Okay, once these houses are gone... Actually, I, I, should I clear this off? You know, I don't know, maybe I'll maintain it. Maybe I'll maintain it. There we go. The plague is over. Money is flowing in. So now, I'm going to slow the game down. And let us... Uh, population's doing well. How's our employment? 14%. Okay, now I can start clearing this off. Which is going to be good because I want to get military going. So I'm gonna put down a barracks. Get out of the way. We destroyed your homes, okay. And uh, how's our employment now? 5%? I want these guys to be trained. I know this is not as efficient, but I'm gonna put down the military academy immediately so that I can start putting down forts. And I'll start training javelins. And I'm going to keep military around this side. Because I'm not going to be building much over here. And I need to respond from the middle as much as possible. So I think... If I just build it up in these cliffs, it'll be good. Fort Javelin. There? Here. I think there. Good. Employees needed, no problem. More people are going to be moving in down there. We can now ensure that this block maintains level 2. There we go. And we can house, 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 house. Fill the middle. Great. So that's going to be our level 2 house. So this is all level 1 house, this is level 2 house. Look at that, the gradient is already going. And we can start prepping the next block. So how big of a gap did I put here? I probably can't keep this scale going forever. This is sort of a work block, so I'm just going to keep things close. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. Is that okay? So I'm going to start going wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So start getting tall. Clear off of those trees. We are gonna run out of space if we do this. This has to be closer. Okay. 
because there's so many types of housing in this game. So this is going to be the first housing block that's going to be fed. And I suppose we can keep the doctors going, that's fine. Garden up the middle. And we can now get some food going for here. So let us just drop a granary, I guess. It should be fine if I do that. Just have a road come out. It can be pretty simple, because this is not like a lot of houses. And we just have... And, just to make sure nothing burns down, Prefecture, Engineer's Post. And this place is the first place to have a market. There's a thousand people. Now the gods are probably going to be upset, so we can also have a row of temples around here. How do I want to do this? Just... Just the row, I guess. Mercury. Mars. Wage increase. Okay. Venus. Wages went up by one. Okay. And we're gonna start our third level of housing. There are 20 types of housing. Yeah, we, we're not gonna be able to keep it all going in the same direction. Uh, so it's gonna keep on going in a straight line and then we're probably gonna have to curve somewhere. Maybe I curve back down, or maybe I start going two blocks. One here, one here, one here, one here. These blocks are probably just too big, right? No oh, messenger, okay, but look at our money. Look at our money. Oh, I stopped importing raw materials. Are, are they going to get more raw materials? Why are they not getting... Oh, there's not enough to get. Oh, that's annoying. We can't get that stuff because it needs eight to get. Fine. We'll just resume importing. And for this... I'll just destroy it once they buy the furniture. Are we maxing out furniture sales? We are maxing out furniture sales, okay. So next year, once they buy all the furniture, I'll delete it. Chiv DSO, just subscribed for two months in a row. Thank you so much, Chiv. Uh, by the way, we haven't streamed for four days. So if any of you are on uh, Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime and you haven't linked it to Twitch, uh, do manually re reset that <laughs> because it, annoyingly that does not why is this oh right we need a shipyard i forgot about that uh shipyard just stick that there yeah i forgot the shipyard oh right this place needs water as well so this is going to be third level of housing so that cover everything? Is there a middle on this? It's 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That covers to there. If I do that and this. But does that not cover... The very corner there. But if I do this... I'm trying to make it look a little bit nice. Oh, that doesn't cover the middle there. Okay. So we're gonna have to do... Two. 
this will break up the garden as well, because I don't like the 2x2 two two gardens all that much. There we go. That works. Okay. So now we can wait for the fish to come in, and we'll get that going. Okay, we've imported a bunch of stuff. It's the new year. Please buy some furniture. So much furniture is coming. We haven't sold any yet this year. Oh, okay, okay. I can put a pottery workshop to get rid of the extra clay instead of deleting the warehouse. Yeah, but I don't want to bother. Okay, there they go. Buying up the furniture. Second caravan coming down. Oh, let me just try to save a little bit of furniture here. Buy up all the furniture. Good enough. Just accept furniture. By the way, are all the trade routes open? No, we haven't opened to here, which sells weapons. And buy some stuff there. Uh, money has come in, so I can open up this trade route just to sort it out now. And we are going to have to import weapons, but this allows me to set everything correctly first. Okay, turn off weapons on all of this. Oil is still going well. Okay, fishing boats are going. This is the next level of housing, right? Large shack. It is, right? Do I really need to import weapons? Well, I probably can get away with just six javelin forts, right? Which reminds me, I can get the next javelin fort going. There we go. It does go straight to large shack, right? From large tent to large... Oh, 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 we cannot have these temples here. Okay. It is not the next level of housing. Temples push it to the next level. Okay. Okay, got it, got it. Get horsemen too, the map is huge. Yeah, I probably should get a few horsemen. They're not very good, but... All right, this first feeding is gonna take a while. See, it puts like 200 units of food in there. Do I need more fishing going? I probably need more fishing going, right? Can I fit one there? Oh, I can. Okay. We're gonna hear that a lot as we go in and out of debt, but we are maxing out our exports here as much as we can anyway. Oil and clay has come back in. That's staying clear and clean. Okay, good, good. South of your tents, you have a farming area. Oh yeah, down here. Uh, but we're gonna have to bring that food somewhere else if we want to use it because we're not feeding these people. <laughs> okay, so this is... I think the blocks getting smaller as we go along makes sense because each block that goes on um, requires more resources. So like this should be less than that because we're not feeding there. This requires food. Okay, so these should devolve soon. Seems like we are getting through the first feeding okay. There's a hundred food. We get to feed a bit more. There we go. So we need them to be small shacks. But we gotta wait for the religion access to dissipate. That's gonna take a while. It'll eventually be correct. It'll eventually be correct. So the next block. We can just stick right here, right next to it. 
but not so many houses. And here I can reuse. I can reuse this granary. So I can have a row of houses there. What's the reachable well? It's... Like that. We can garden that up. We put a... Uh... Oh, okay. Local uprising. And a request of timber. Okay, okay. Dimjado dropping 100 bits. Thank you so much, Dimjado. Where? There. Okay. We do have... A blessing from Mars. But let's meet out, or run out to meet them. Also, before something falls apart here. Prefecture, engineer's post. We'll wait for the market. But we can give this place a temple. Make sure there's no confusion then. Okay. Oh, he got there real early. <laughs> All right, let's get our troops over. Now, Amar's blessing should immediately uh, wipe that out. But let's try and save the Mars blessing. Come on, shoot him. If we can kill them all in time, Okay, great. Done. They're dead. Okay, those houses have moved in. Unemployment of 30%. Let's just keep people happy by paying them 8 over what Rome pays. Taxes are still 0. People love me. Okay, great. Waiting for food. Okay, it looks like... Uh... Oh, it actually just dropped immediately. Okay, that's great. So we have an extra temple to Mars just to keep him extra happy. There we go. Uh, are we able to produce enough food here? There's no oh, desirability is an issue. I see. These guys think they're fancy. Okay, well, let's plaza it up then. Mm. Okay. Uh, is that scripted? Yeah, that's scripted. Oh, I just realized there's gardens at these corners, which is, well, which can cause problems. So I'm just going to put small statues there instead. There we go. That needs a supply of food. There's some food in the bazaar or market, rather. Uh, so I'm going to see if we start stockpiling enough food, I can then evolve that. I think I should start doing blocks like this, just a single row of houses. Just a single row of houses. Uh, they are Roman, so of course they're fancy. <laughs> yeah. Zudo Shimori. I do a single row and that'll be a nice sort of demonstration of each type of house. So I should just continue on with this, right? One, two. I can just continue like this. And have the single row of houses. And then we should be able to get quite far along. I think I'll just clear off all of this. And keep it going. Oh, that's a bit wrong. It's supposed to be there. I do need one row of gardens. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Two, three. <laughs> you you can't you can't 
get all types of housing in a single line. The maps are just not big enough. Maybe I just start reforming some of these. Since I have so much unemployment and plenty of money. But then reforming this would be a bit of a pain. At least all of these houses have been fed. Perhaps I can make it a little bit more efficient. If I just destroy half these houses and move the market to there instead of there, break this road and have it not do that and have this road come down like that, we could save some space over here. If I... Now watch this trick. When you destroy houses, people move out. When you put down new houses, those people that you kicked out will want to move back in. So I can just break all of that. Keep this road there. Replace the prefecture. Engineer's post. And the temple to Mars. Keep the well going. This should allow us to have... One more block? Yeah, there we go. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so now the gradient will be a bit better. Put your next block closer to the coastline. I could alternate, I guess. Maybe that that's the solution. There's 20 levels of housing, right? So I'm gonna need to figure something out. Let me see how many rows I can fit on here. If I do this, how many rows can I get without getting too close to the edge of the map? I mean, any closer and this is getting a little dangerous, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like any close, like if I do this, that's very close. But if I... One, two, three, four, five, six... I can do this. 20 types of housing? That's so many. I'm gonna clear that. So if I just... If I do this, we should be able to get almost all types of housing. Wait, how many types of housing before villas? I think that's an important question, right? Really? Since when was there an invasion on the way? <laughs> Let's get uh, some mounted going, I guess. You know, I kind of want three javelins first. I think we should save the game just in case. Okay, how many types of housing before... Because I, I really don't want to build that close. So if I do this, it's one, two, three, four, five. So this is ten types of housing here. If I do this. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I feel like there's, there's 12 and then it's villas, is it 12? So if I do one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that is gonna be up until Grand Insulae. Right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we'll maintain 12 here. Okay, this is gonna look quite nice, I think. Right? These sheep are throwing off my perception, but I think it's correct. Okay. So this is gonna be our layout for our gradient city to show off every type of house. Okay, it starts off a little rough. You know, I could easily fix this one, but that one's gonna just be on its own because that's actually a working block. This one over here, how's our employment? 24%? You know, we got plenty of money. I'm just gonna fix this right now. We need to replace all the temples and make sure we have... like a doctor somewhere. One employee short? Okay, that's not a problem. Let's just fix this because we can... Oh, it actually dropped our... A song level. This I can do. You guys move back in. This is an area with wells. Okay. Gardens. Now that we cut that area population in half, we can give you guys a market. And we're gonna need to plaza that up and also replace all the temples. All right, timber. Materials. I'm just gonna temporarily do that. Make sure nothing is sold into here. Okay. I'll plaza that one up as well. You know, eventually I'll plaza up all of these. So that's there. And that's correct, right? This is the level 2 housing. Oh, but we need the temples, right? Series. <laughs> Neptune. Mercury. Mars and Venus. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. That market can start feeding there. There is a temple there, so this will be the next level of housing. 2% unemployment, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Two of each tent, shack, hovel, casa, then small, medium, large, and grand insulae. I see. Atreides? Is that Atreides? Atreides, is your name from... from Dune? Hmm. Prefecture. Good point. An engineer's post. Okay. <laughs> okay, that will also stockpile up the timber we need. 10 in 11 months. This might cut it a little close. I can't really fit another one. Should be fine, should be fine. Okay. Fish is coming in. We're now feeding these up to large shacks. So there we go, we've got small shack, large shack, and then according to Atreides, uh, after that is hovels, which require clean water supply. So we can actually keep this going here. Keep up the exact same pattern, but it needs a clean water supply. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Gardens. And then we're gonna have to figure out how to get a reservoir somewhere nearby. I'll just put it there for now. And in case this is your first time watching, you can actually click and hold reservoirs. This is a reservoir trick here. We're gonna hear a par any second now. 
Got it. And we're gonna just hook this up like this. Just for now. Oh, does that not reach? So that's going to be a clean water supply, but I just realized that's going to be an absolute mess to work around. So I've got to move the reservoir up a little bit for now, because we need a gatehouse here to hook up to there. And then we're going to need another temple. Another prefecture, another engineer's post, and let's throw a doctor down, just to make sure we don't get any diseases. Uh, how is health doing? Average? Okay. We want to keep it average so old people don't live too long, yeah? <laughs> okay, so that's going to hook up to the granary as well, which we could... We could uh, keep boosting food. Maybe I should cross over. No employees live nearby. Oh, that's a problem. Let's just do that for now, yeah? Timber's stockpiling. That's next row of houses. If food stockpiles up... Which I think it will. I think it will. Because these aren't a lot of houses in each section. So we're gonna have... So this is gonna start going over here. So this is after... After shack is hovel, right? So we're gonna do hovel one here, hovel two here. So the slightly fancier ones uh, have a coastal view. So we're gonna be hovel, 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 casa, casa. What was after casa? Um, hovel, hovel, casa, casa. So there's like a small casa, medium casa. Then it's insule. Oh, okay. That's uh, a second request. Okay, we're gonna have to keep this going then. Am I gonna hit that first request? Yes, yes. Seven months to comply and we've already got more than half. Oh, it's small, medium, large, and grand insulate. Okay, these f last four ones are gonna be small, medium, large, and grand insulate. So it's... Uh, yeah, so this is small shack, large shack, small casa, large casa, um... No, small hovel, large hovel, small casa, uh, large casa, then small, medium, large, and grand insulate. Right? That's gonna be the plan. That's gonna be the plan. Okay, that makes perfect sense. I'm just gonna get all of these blocks online now, and I'll figure out have to supply them with things later because we're gonna have to do some road wizardry but we can use this to build more temples so we're gonna have mercury neptune series we can get all the prefectures down We can get the engineer's post down. So all of these blocks are going to be online. Isn't this an interesting challenge? I came up with it. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> uh, and also make sure we stick the corners with small statues so there's no garden mishaps. And also this is usually every time I do a weird challenge like this, you learn a lesson, right? So it's like um, when you when I did the rags and riches challenge where it's just tents and luxury palaces, it really teaches you that it's okay to have tents in your city. When I do this, I think the lesson is going to be that it's okay to have really small housing blocks rather than trying to have big blocks like this and maxing out the population in a single block. It's okay to just have like a block with a, like a row of houses, you know? 
It's okay to do that. Okay, how's our military looking? Javelin's almost filled out, so I think I will get one fort of mounted. Do I keep it going this way? Oh, who's killing what? What, why, why? Oh, the prefects are killing the sheep. Francius Serpicus. This soldier's too strong for me. Really? Really? I why? Why does he say that? I'm not paid enough to fight. He's not paid enough to fight? You guys, he's uh... These soldiers are too strong for him. Jeez. Oh, you know, he's not paid enough to fight. Come on. <laughs> uh, so how's our employment? We, we do have unemployment. So I'm just going to preemptively put all the wells, not wells, fountains. So all of these houses from this point on need fountains. So it's a nice sort of change. These two are stacked because they're wells. After this, it's fountains. So it will eventually be watered up. I'm just gonna... What's the spacing? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So they're all gonna be symmetrical. No, nope, let's go with that. Okay. And we can have the nice row of gardens. Is it the same guy? No, it's Francus Lavoyus. Also struggling. Struggling with the invading sheep. Oh, that's plazas. That's uh, no, gardens. I just realized by putting these gardens, some houses might evolve to the back. That might be an issue. If that's an issue, I will fix it at a later date. Because I could be bothered right now. Okay, so that is going to be all of our normal housing. Our luxury villas and luxury palaces are going to have to go somewhere else. I guess I'll have a separate... Maybe I put them over here. But that's going to be very far from the food. How am I going to do this? I mean, I could put it here, but it'll be so close to the invasion point. I don't know. I'll just figure that out at another time, right? This this flock of sheep are, are gonna be dead. Malkuth has subscribed for a year in a row. Malkuth, thank you so much for sticking around. A whole year. That means your snake, snake icon is now spiky. <laughs> That's how it works on Twitch. Okay. Uh, so, are we, are we stockpiling food now? Because we've got that fourth fishing wharf now stabilized. That's full of food. That's full of food. More food's coming in, which means we can totally support another market. So that we can feed this area. And that's gonna be the next... Let's get that going. There's that dispatch. Come on, market, go get, go get the food. Oh, we're under attack, we're under attack. Here they come. The enemies of Rome are at the outskirts of your city. Expect them to drop in for an urn or two of wine and whatever else strikes their fancy. It's like inviting friends over for the holidays. Okay. So, we want to get... That is surprisingly close to my production area. Let's try to deal with this. We do have a blessing from Mars. Diffid the Lesser, Kenneth the Fastidious, Strongarm. Oh, his name's just Strongarm. Nobia, Douglas the Cruncher, Long Fu the Mysterious, and Charles the Mysterious. There's two mysterious dudes over here. Charles and Long Fu. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we are actually way over producing furniture, surprisingly. Okay, here comes our auxiliaries. Is it two groups? 
Douglas the Cruncher. There's two Douglas the Crunchers as well. These barbarians don't have very creative naming systems. Alright. Let's just lure them down this way. The horses can take the brunt of this. The Spirit of Mars. Bam. Just wiped out a bunch of the blue dudes. Are, are they holding axes? I can't actually tell what weapons they're holding. Simon the Terrifying, Gaulish Warrior. Are they using axes? Can't quite tell. I'm not overproducing furniture. I think I am. Oh, the horse the horseman's running away. Okay, you 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 go on home. You guys can all go home now. I probably should get. Should I bother with legionnaires or should I just? Should I just get more javelins? Oh, but there we go. We've got the small hovels, and they need entertainment. So I could probably get the large hovels going, but I think I do need more food. Can I fit another wharf anywhere here? Only up to there, right? I mean, it's. I, I would struggle. I would struggle feeding another block with just four fishing wharves. But you're starting to see the concept come together, right? I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna move all of these temples. That's one of each. I'm gonna start putting the temples down here. That's gonna be temporary, don't worry. The temporary temple. Wait, I already have Neptune and Mercury up there. And Ceres. Wait, how many temples of each do I have right now? Just two of each? Really? It's even? Okay. So, Ceres. Neptune. Fine. Uh, look, look. These immigrants. Mercury. <laughs> uh, Mars. This was meant to be Neptune. And Venus needs to go somewhere. Which I guess will go here. That's fine, right? Venus. Right, so that should be another three each, once that one starts working. Come on, there we go. Three each, okay, and just to get this, how much do I have in there? 14? How much do I need to stockpile? 20 in 13 months? I'm gonna clear that off so that I can actually get this going, because I know People are going to complain if I don't get this all actually symmetrical. This is going to be level 1 housing. Statue, statue, garden. There. So now the gradient will be complete, even not counting this block, right? That will look great. Right? Right. All right, so that's gonna be the end of part one of Caesar 3, the first of the final two missions and the gradient block design. And I think it's looking really, really nice. <laughs> this is gonna look fantastic once it's all set up. But if you'd like to continue the journey, do just click the button on the screen right now to take you to part two. And also make sure you check out the full playlist to make sure you catch all of the special and silly challenges that we do in this series. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.